Semolina pilchard. <coughs> Sucking on my big fat balls. Fucking hell, 49 minutes, 12 seconds it took me last time. Let's try and beat that. Let's try and beat the score as well. 24-2-6. Hi, everyone. How you doing? Um, let's just get right into it. Trying to beat the time, but more so trying to beat the score. And you guys can play along. Uh, this We had great fun last week. Uh, some really great detective work uh, went on in some of the rounds that I happened to get. It'll be really interesting to see on this absolutely awful map um, just how awful it could be. Could it get worse than what we had? Did we get lucky last week? Let's find out. Here we go. Let's see if we can repeat or at least better the shenanigans at Lake Ponchar Train. I think that's right. I don't believe it. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Right, we're in another shop straight away. Uh, it's a different, completely different looking uh, shop to, well, it wasn't a shop, it was a dentist practice we started on last week. Here, we're in some sort of car parts shop. I mean, this sort of shop, are we recording? Yes, we are. This sort of shop, I just don't, I don't think these exist in Britain, really. Just a little shop that sells battery, car batteries, fucking, I don't know. This is all, this is the kind of shop you get in a, a moped crazy country like Vietnam or something like that. Um, but I just want to look over here because my attention was drawn to this chap on the wall. Is that JC? Are we looking at JC there and how does that affect things? We've also got long life for every vehicle, which is English. What would you do without my commentary? You'd just be clueless, wouldn't you? Um, what, ooh, are we driving on the left or right? We can't see. There's a whole lot of light coming through um, the, the shop front there. One may say it's luminous. Jokes as well. It's just got it's just got everything hasn't it this video so far. So yeah Amaron. I, I'm, I won't lie I'm already thinking of a specific country and that country which may be wrong it's just a thought is sorry let me just change the compass The Philippines, because English, Jesus, and I don't know, just the rest of it just seems, seems like it might be a, you know, a moped -y kind of country. <laughs> Lasts long, really long. What a great fucking advert that is. Really long, mate. Not just long. Trust me. Um, yeah, so we can't be in South America because of the amount of English. This guy would... I mean, yeah. We were so wrong last week. Uh, so it can't be Indonesia. I don't think it can be Sri Lanka because... I just think we'd have some squiggles somewhere and he doesn't look very Sri Lankan, but... Often they are paler skinned than, than you might, I don't know, they always go down a couple of shades. But anyway, Jesus wouldn't, no, he might be in Sri Lanka. Um, have my ramblings nearly finished? Malaysia are Muslim. Indonesia are Muslim. Thailand are Buddhist. So I just think... I just think, screw it. I think, yes, I still might be wrong. Yes, I haven't thought this through, but we're here to have fun. Um, by the way, the reason you're getting another GeoGuessr vid uh, this week is because I am basically very early tomorrow morning. I'm going on a huge two-day hike in Wales uh, to train for the Dribbling Britain. I'm basically training for this thing one way or another most of the time at the moment. 
especially when you when you include um, all the planning and the contacting potential helpers and whatnot. Um, so yeah, it's a GeoGuessr vid this week. Most of you watching are probably okay with that. Most of the people who aren't okay with that have probably left the chat. Um, let's go Philippines, and I'm gonna go. Is there anything here that could give it away now? I don't think there is. I'm just gonna go Angeles. Now I'll go a bit down the bit down the valley actually in San Fernando. There we go. What? Oh my god. I don't believe it. It's happened. The thing that I was scared would happen, not scared, but just really hoping wouldn't happen before I ever played this map a week ago was wrong coordinates. Um, and I guess we've just got to laugh, haven't we? We've just got to laugh at that. This really is an awful map. This could be, if we get a particularly unlucky seed today, this could be an absolute exercise in ridiculousness and pointlessness, really. Can I click on that and find out where it actually was? JD Enterprises. Can I, can, here we go. So that's wrong on the map. So, I literally can't find anything out here. Antec Info, what the hell is that? I don't think there's anything, I, I don't think I can find this out. We can't find out the location. This seems to be in India. Amaron, India's top selling automotive batteries. Exide mileage battery price in India. So it seems we were in India. See what I mean about slightly, they go for the slightly paler option each time, I don't know. Um, so India, so I was wrong. And JC, I don't know what he's doing up there, but you know, there are Christians in India, which is what I'm sure many, the main answer to that would be. Moving on to round two, that was absolutely fucking awful. I'm really, really angry about that. Let's hope that does not continue. Okay. Um, well, here, I think we know his name already. We've got a face and a name, which I don't think I've ever had on GeoGuessr. And it's Bertrand Pierre Lefaux. Mate, you may regret taking that picture and uploading it because you're now, you've now been seen by 250,000 people and your boyfriend as well is here. Yep. I told you you'd regret uploading it. No, I don't know, business partner, whoever he is. And they're having lunch in this warehouse. They've got bread. They've got this. I don't think this is particularly British food. Um, let's see. Let's find out where we are. I don't think this will be a wrong coordinates. But it could be, based on that last one. Right, Schweppes. Schweppes is a pretty British company, isn't it? Schweppes. Didn't they merge with someone? Cadbury's Schweppes. Uh, what am I saying? Schweppes probably isn't British. It's probably German or something. The clue is in the S-C-H-W. <laughs> but then Nueva. Nueva, right? So that's going to be Spanish or Italian. Um, we could analyse all these people, but they could all be tourists. Um, something Sienas, Divao, it's Italian or Spanish, I think. Let's keep moving round. Horno de Juan, so looking more Spanish as we go. I mean, 
this name is pretty French, but doesn't really mean a, a great lot. Craft Beer Bar. So we're obviously in a pretty big touristy city. I don't, we're not going to be in a small Spanish city. We're going to be in somewhere like Barcelona or Madrid where they don't mind. It's been internationalized. You know, they don't mind using English kind of branding on certain things. Don't think you'd get that in like Pamplona or something, a smaller city. And that is about all we've got. I can't read Schweppes bottle number two. Um, Nasara, yeah, I don't think we're going to get the name of the city. So chances of beating last week's score, well, it's already impossible. It's literally already gone. Uh, so this is going to be an awful score. Um, friggin' hell, I don't know what to do. I don't quite know what to do. Maybe I'll go Barcelona. I think I'll go Barcelona. I was, I was just there uh, a couple of weeks ago at Primavera Festival. And this is where I'm going to go. I'm pretty sure there's a... Where are we? I, th I think there's a, some sort of... Where's Las Ramblas here? There's a big market around here somewhere. Marcat. Mercat. Let's go there. Ha <laughs> ha. Shit. Oh, we're on... T <laughs> Ten points. We got that time. We were in Montevideo. I can believe that. I can totally believe that. We're in a market. Mercado Agricola de Montevideo. Definitely correct, I would have thought. Um, but we've got an absolutely tragic score again. We're on a grand total of 12. I don't know what to say about that. Um, at least I got a Spanish speaking country. Third round, this is not going to plan this week. But it's, it's in terms of the map, we can't say that we're lower than expectation. It's just that last week we happened to do insanely well. I did tell you, didn't I? I did have a feeling that we got lucky with the rounds last week because whoever made this map wouldn't make it that easy on purpose. Not that it was easy, but you know what I mean. It, there, there were clues. It was kind of gettable, some of them. Aluminium. Aluminium. God. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Air cool services. I've got a bad feeling about this. We've got a, <laughs> we've got a whole address. That can't be. Oh my God! It's Antec Info again. Who is Antec Info? Who are these people? Is that a company that take loads of photos of uh, businesses? Maybe. Maybe they're a popular... Well, India could be the link. Maybe they're a popular company in India that do that. Anyway, uh, Sonar Line Tin Shed near Fish Market. That is a mental address. That is like a biblical address, isn't it? Apart from the first bit. Tin Shed, where do you live, mate? Tin Shed, near the fish market, Bistapur. Ah, oh, got you, got you. I know the one. <laughs> oh my God, that's a archaic address. Um, but I guess that's translated somewhat. Uh, Bistu, Bistupur, Jamshedpur. <laughs> Jamshed. So the Tin Shed... Near the fish market, down the road from the jam shed. Wow. Uh, right, so guys, I won't, I won't dick about any longer. Um, I'm going to try and find jam shed poor. That's the biggest place on the address. At, at the very least, here we should get some points, some you know, into the into the thousands, hopefully. Because we're in India. But we were in India in round one. And I've just found Jamshedpur. Look at that. Okay, so my technique is usually to 
be quite far zoomed out uh, and just see if it's any of the big ones because if it's one of the big ones then it'll take you a lot quicker to find it then you zoom in to this level which takes you a lot longer but we've got it Jamshed Poor so that's not a jam shed. It's it's a bit bigger, and I've just found Bistupur Market, pretty much right in the middle. So let's let's. Can you imagine if we found? Right, hang on a minute. Bistupur. Can we find a place called Tin Shed or Fish Market? There's no way it's going to be called Near Fish Market. You never know. Anything would, nothing would surprise me at this point. Or we could go straight, we could cut out the middlemen and go straight to Sonar Line. Um, but we're in for a, a, well, I'm not even going to say anything. What would be even more incredible is if I just went even more to the source and went straight to ACS, Air Cool Services. If I could just stumble across that, because I'm not hopeful for Tin Shed. Unless we're here. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, this looks better. Whether the marker will agree remains to be seen. But I do think, I'm just looking for ACS. I do think we're around here. No fish market or tin shed. Don't believe that. I was really hopeful for tin shed and fish market. Uh, I'm going here. You... <laughs> Fuck off. What? That's the same... Is that not the same spot that it claimed it was before? This is <laughs> this is friggin' mental. Right, I need to find out. Let's find out by googling where this. We, we've got the address. We can do this. Firstly, let's click on it and just see where it takes us. Yeah, and tech info. What a terrible company. Dude, oh. Give me my money back. Right. Tin Shed. No. ACS. Jam Shed Poor. ACS. I don't even think they're on here. Fish Market. Ah, oh, fuck it. What am I doing? So it might be over there, or it might be actually in Bistapur. Can't see a fish market there, so we'll never know. Cheers, Antec. You've really pulled out the stops so far here today. Absolute cowboys. Are you enjoying this? No, no! We've got the same frigging round again. This is a train wreck of a video. We had this last week and I literally haven't got time to make a, make a different video, guys. So I'm sorry about this. Let's see if we can find this spot on. Now, this was in the sea. Do you remember? It wasn't in... It wasn't on the island. I think it was about like there. Oh! We've lost five points. Right, last round. Here we go. Oh, I thought for a minute then we were on Pontar, Ponchar train. This snap was taken by Benedict Yamamura. That's an interesting name, isn't it? Benedict Yamamura. Very kind of Western name mixed with a, a Japanese name. Interesting. Maybe his father was Japanese. Um... Benedict Yamamura. Well, it doesn't really help us pinpoint where he might be from. I don't know. Maybe maybe we're in Japan and his parents 
just really not, they're really big fans of Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, although that would make this guy pretty young. Could be quite young. That is the kind of hat I would have worn when I was 12. So maybe. Uh, no, that's probably not true. So compass, if we can rely on it, is saying that, well, it's saying next to nothing. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the worst score ever, guys, and possibly the worst video I've ever done. But I've got my just desserts really for playing this map twice. Who knows? Maybe we can get an incredible score here. Um, right, we've got islands. We've got desert islands. These are the kind of islands I would expect, like in Asia. You know. Um, I mean, maybe, like, could we be in Japan? Could we be in and around these islands? I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think we're there either. I think we're in kind of shallower waters is the thing. And where are those, like, yeah, Paracel Islands, Spratly Islands, those sorts of things. I don't know, man, like, Where's, where do they film, what about these areas, Micronesia, um, yeah, where does Asia meet, you know, America or Australia, that, that, you know, Benedict Yamamura, that, that's, this is an area where that kind of crossbreeding of names could occur, agreed? So federal states of Micronesia, I mean that's so remote isn't it? I am tempted by whatever that is. What is that? Vaichuk Islands. Who owns that? Every time I look in this area I find something new to be honest. Or well, where's French Polynesia? That's what I want I think. Is that even further out? French Polynesia, out here. Yeah, look at all these. Should we go out here? Screw it. The video's over already, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, let's see if we can end this crud video on some sort of high. Or will it put us off the coast of Togo again? Hey, that's not bad. That is not bad. Is it? I mean, it's 3,256 miles. I wouldn't want to swim it. But, Marshall Islands. I was, I mean, we scanned over that. I considered it. I did consider it, Marshall Islands, but I went down the road, you know, which is, it's not far, really. So the summary um, doesn't make for very good viewing, I'll be honest. That is actually a very big line, isn't it? It's the Pacific that's making it look small, but it's actually huge. Got three massive lines here. Uh, this one is fair and square. You know, I got it wrong. It was Uruguay versus Spain. But these two, to be fair to me, that would have been very close, we still don't know how close, uh, thanks to Antrac or whatever they're called. Uh, this one wouldn't have been too bad, the Philippines one, uh, if it weren't for those glitches. They are different, they're different spots, that's fascinating. So it's not like they've had a weird glitch on their database and all the photos have reverted to one spot. No, 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 they're all just randomly placed in the, well two of them are at least, randomly placed in the Atlantic and then it was disappointing to get that that one um, again because I can't really complain too much because that's where like 99% of my points came from but there you have it, that was quite possibly the worst game of GeoGuessr I've ever played, well done nerdy gal, the, the gal presumably 
who created this map. Thank you. Um, and thank you also to the, the young man who recommended it via email. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. This is going to be the one of the worst rated videos. Thank God they don't have a dislike bar anymore. That's all I can say. Wish me luck on my two-day hike uh, starting tomorrow. Wish me even more luck on one of my best mates, Stagdu, uh, the day after that. Um, and I'll see you next week. I'll try and make it a geodetective. I will try. That's all I can do. See you there. Thanks for watching. Gary Barlow.